There are some insane differences between this satirical superhero show and its wild source material. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things the boys changed from the comics. For this list, we're looking at the biggest changes made to the plot and characters of the boys when it was adapted to the screen. Since we'll be talking about major and sometimes gruesome plot points, a spoiler alert and mature content warning are in effect for both the comic and the show. Number 10. Huey tangos with the Seven right away. I can't stop. 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 Robin? Huey knew the Seven as an untouchable team of superheroes, but when his girlfriend is carelessly killed by the hero A-Train, Huey teams up with Billy Butcher and the boys to take the heroes down. Let me just get this straight. You want me to, you want me to go to Seven Tower by myself and, and, you, and you want me to plant a bug? In the comics, Huey helps dismantle less notable superhero teams before confronting the Seven. This gives him time to become a competent spy and legitimate threat. He has much less time to hone his espionage skills on the show. Within a few days of meeting Butcher, Huey's sent to bug the Seven's headquarters. During the mission, Huey's cover is blown and he's nearly killed by Translucent. No, 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 no. Oh. Perhaps he should have taken a cue from his comic counterpart and gained experience before taking on the world's most powerful heroes. Number 9. Butcher's team isn't part of the CIA In the first episode, Butcher introduces himself as an FBI agent. Although Huey questions Butcher's credentials, he still follows his new companion's lead. You don't sound like a fed. Well, I can't emigrate. But after the duo knocks Translucent unconscious, Butcher confesses that he's not with the FBI. Yeah, okay, so look, technically I'm not a fed. What? His lies are a hilarious twist on the comics. On the page, Butcher and the boys are licensed and funded by the CIA. Their government connection gives them access to passports, jets, and a decent headquarters. The boys have so much pull that they even get away with killing heroes on a public street. It's a miracle that their live-action counterparts can keep up with superheroes with only a handful of connections and nearly empty pockets. Where'd you get this shit? Circuit City? Right? He's a cheap bastard. Number 8. Almost everything about Huey If you picked up a boys comic, you'd see that Huey is a dead ringer for the fantastic Simon Pegg. This version of the character is Scottish, sports a buzz cut, and is shorter than his allies. The show's take on Huey is tall, American, and has a full head of hair. In a brilliant bit of metacasting, his father Hugh is played by the real Simon Pegg. I thought Robin's service was nice. Did you see how many people came? Wow. While both versions of the character struggle with anxiety and morality, Hugh's presence makes a big difference. Although he's initially skeptical of his son's capabilities, he worries about him and tries to show him love and support. All right, now I, I, I spoke to Dr. Feldman. I'm a pediatrician. He's still your doctor, and he's given me the name of someone you can, you can talk to, help you, you know, get back to normal. It makes Huey's descent into darker territory feel all the more tragic. Number 7. Annie and Huey's Relationship so Who are you? I'm a fighter. After Huey and Annie, also known as Starlight, both have terrible days, they end up sharing a park bench and some friendly conversation. Unfortunately, they don't realize that their jobs make them enemies. During season one, Huey realizes Annie is a superhero fairly quickly. Annie? Annie! Annie, hi! Huey? From the bench the other day? You're, uh... You're Starlight. While using her to get intel on other heroes, Huey and Annie start dating. Their relationship ends when Annie finds out she's being used. You are the only thing that I could count. I'm still me, Annie, please. You know me. I don't know you. Never did. Huey's comic counterpart is much more oblivious. Although he dates Annie for months, he's unaware she's a superhero until she literally floats off the ground. While their relationship recovers in the comics, it's still unclear if the couple will get back together after the rocky events of season one. Number 6. Stillwell's Storyline and Gender Don't let the fancy clothes fool you. The executive that oversees the Seven is responsible for a lot of bloodshed. In the comics, this role is occupied by James Stillwell. The man is so cold and dedicated to his job that he ordered the mass murder of an entire superhero team to avoid bad press. He's also formidable enough to stare down an angry Homelander and outlive nearly every member of the Seven. The show gender-swapped the character and renamed her. 
something they also did with the boy's former leader, Mallory. Although Madeline Stilwell is just as ruthless as her comic counterpart, she also has a disturbing and intimate relationship with Homelander. And you have to listen to me. And then we both can get what we want. That is, until Homelander catches her in a lie and kills her. <laughs> Number five, Huey's first kill. I'm not getting back in that cage, man. I do, I am dead. Hell, if you don't, you're dead. Shortly after joining the boys, Huey ends up killing someone for the first time. In the comics, this pivotal event occurs after the boys humiliate a superhero team called the Teenage Kicks. When one of its members, Blarney Cock, yes, that's his name, attacks Huey, Huey accidentally kills him in self-defense. His homicide in the show, however, is 100% intentional. After the boys capture the hero Translucent and insert explosives inside his <clears throat> body, Translucent tries to escape. Huey initially decides to let the hero go, but he ultimately decides that it's time to get his hands dirty and detonates the bomb. <laughs> Huey's decisive action makes his first kill feel darker and more malicious than in the comic. Number four, what happens to Annie? Both adaptations of the boys depict mature and disturbing events that highlight real social issues. Whoa, 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 hey, wait, 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 wait. It's just a question of how bad you wanna be in the seven. One of the hardest scenes to endure is Annie's sexual assault. In the comic, Annie is assaulted by Homelander, Black Noir, and A-Train, who corner her and threaten her with expulsion from the seven. On the show, this role is taken over by the deep. Thing is, I am number two around here. So, if I say so, you know, you'd be out of here. Especially since you attacked me. I what? Yeah, look. While the comic heroes are never directly punished for the crime, Deep faces heavy consequences on the show. What's immoral is the guy who shoved his dick in my face. <laughs> Shit. After Annie exposes him on live TV, the Deep is forced to make a public apology and is indefinitely suspended from the Seven. Overall, the show's focus on Annie's assault and its aftermath provided a better take on this difficult storyline. Number three, the plane incident. If you bring those passengers back alive, not one congressman will have the balls to vote against our bill. When Stillwell hears that terrorists have hijacked a plane, she sends Homelander and Maeve to save the passengers. But during the rescue mission, Homelander accidentally fries the controls. ATC! It's dead! Can you fly a plane? Well, it wouldn't matter if I did. Unable to land the plane, the heroes abandon the mission and leave the passengers to die. No, please, no! Please stay! I'm sorry! Don't die with them. As bad as that sounds, the comics version of events is even worse. In the comic, the plane is hijacked on September 11, 2001. After the Seven fail to save it, the plane crashes into the Brooklyn Bridge. By associating the incident with real historical events, it made for an even more horrifying and harrowing scene. Number two, the boys and superpowers. How does a ragtag group like the boys stand a chance against superheroes? Easy. In the comic, they all have superpowers. Both Mother's Milk and the female get their powers when they're young. The rest of the team uses the drug Compound V to acquire super strength and increase durability. On the show, the team is much more vulnerable. Kamiko is the only one of the boys who has enhanced abilities. Although Compound V does exist, Frenchie's the only one who's interested in trying it out. If we get a bit, can you work it out? Well, I can run some tests, of course. But there's no way of knowing unless I try some myself. Amazing idea. We'll cross that bridge and we burn it. But given that A-Train's dependency on Compound V nearly killed him, the boys have every reason to say no to this drug. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Becca Butcher's fate. You see, 
I know what it's like to lose someone. Butcher's hatred of superheroes is tied to his wife, Becca. In the comics, he awoke one night to find that she had given birth to a superpowered son. When the boy started shooting lasers, Butcher killed him in self-defense. To make matters worse, Becca dies during childbirth. Believing she'd been assaulted by a superhero, Butcher launched a crusade to take them all out. His show counterpart seemed to more or less share this backstory, until the season one finale. In a shocking series of twists, it's revealed that Becca is alive, in hiding, and raising Homelander's son. You know who I am? Homelander! <laughs> yeah, that's right, but... You know who else? No. Becca. This major departure from the comics makes it impossible for even diehard fans to predict what comes next. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.